What's going on everyone? I'm Derek. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I'd like to go over my camera setups. I have an HD setup and a standard definition setup. I'd also like to go over some editing programs that I use and my computer. So let's get into this. <laughs> So the first setup I'd like to get into would be my HD setup. This setup is the one I use on a daily basis just because HD is um, very easy to use when you mess with SD cards. And considering the fact that tapes, you actually have to pay for tapes and SD cards you use once and you're good to go. But here's my cam caddy. I film skateboarding so here's the cam caddy. It's pretty durable. It's a lot better than that at Opteca, the Opteca X Grip. That thing's really flimsy. I actually had one but I gave it to my friend. He has a GoPro so it works really well for a GoPro. This isn't too bad. It does what it needs to do for now. So let's get into this. First thing you see when you open it up, I have a um, good amount of lens. Nothing too expensive. We'll start off with the body first. I have a Canon T4i with a battery grip. This thing's awesome. I'm filming on a Canon T2i right now. I want to say that the sensors and the megapixels and all that, the quality's all the same. So two very good cameras. Put that right there, and the first lens that I use a lot, Tamron, it is a um, 75 by 300. This thing works great, you know, when you're shooting sports. The second one here is the Abteca Fisheye. This thing's pretty good for the price. I, can, I wanna say you can get it for about $165 on Amazon. Um, works just as good as the Rokinon, or the Samyang, whatever the hell it is. Here I have Canon 35 by 80 millimeter. I don't use this much. Never really got around to it, honestly, but my favorite lens is my Canon 50 millimeter. This thing is absolutely awesome to shoot photos with. Never shot videos with it. I don't think it's really necessary. Definitely pick one of these up if you have a DSLR. It's awesome. Here I have another kit lens, um, 18 by 55 millimeter. I use this to long lens skateboarding. One of the downfalls is that these things do not zoom well, long lens especially. So you kind of have to just work with what you have unless you have a HVX, HMC 150, um, HPX, things like that. Can't really do much with that. Here's another Tamron. Um, I want to say this, yeah, this is the 80 by 210 millimeter. And funny story with the setup I have, all these lens besides the 50 millimeter and the fisheye came with the camera and I traded all this stuff right here for a GoPro Hero 4, the 4K edition, I think it's the 4. So he traded me all this for just the GoPro and some attachments which I couldn't pass up. That's a hell of a deal if you ask me and I still think I came up on top with that. But yeah, that's um, pretty much it for my HD setup. Like I said, the Canon T4i works really well. Definitely thinking about getting like a T6S or something. Try to keep it simple, you know, or um, 70D, something like that. I want to upgrade the T4i, but like I said, it works great. The quality is amazing. I want to say that's about it when it comes to my lens and my camera setup for HD. So we're going to go on to my favorite, which is my standard definition. <laughs> Alright, on to my second setup. This is my favorite setup and definitely my most expensive setup. Here's my Sony VX1000. It's in pretty mint condition. I don't plan on getting rid of it anytime soon. Definitely one of my favorite, one of the best looking cameras to film skateboarding with still to this day. And of course, with the VX1000, you have to have the famous MK1 fisheye. This thing is super wide, super expensive. I mean, for the price, is it worth it? Yeah, if you want a VX1000. Bayo mount, which is awesome, better than threads. Bought this new for about, I think, 825 or 850 So this was more than the camera. This was more than that which is pretty mind-blowing, but I think there's a lot of lens out there for the DSLRs that are way more expensive. Batteries for the light I'm currently filming with. Get a shot of that. Pretty dark, but here's the light. Obviously, I'm not gonna blind you guys. I wouldn't do that, but just kidding. No, that was mean. Very good. Um, It's the best light phantom. Pop your double A's right in there, or you can use um, camcorder batteries, which I haven't gotten around to. Overall, super good camera, has magnetic filters. And other than that, I mean, it's very, very durable. That's my standard definition setup. Like I said, definitely my favorite. Don't plan on getting rid of it anytime soon. 
due to the fact that they're very hard to find in this condition. And overall, just just a fun camera, you know, you don't see many people using them anymore. That's about it for the camera setups. Alright everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, share this video. Um, I paid for everything in this setup, so I'm not spoiled, and I don't want you guys thinking I'm spoiled. I actually paid for everything because this is what I love to do, is make films and film skateboarding. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time.